Hello friends, how are you? Today I'm gonna show you how to read a multiple numbers from the Nexion HMI screen and store it into the Arduino. But before I start, please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel to see our new upcoming project. And now let's start. As you can see here, here we have six texts and zero and one, six, six numbers and zero and one and two and three and four and, and five. And my target is to get these six numbers and store it on my Arduino Uno. And the role is, uh, of these two buttons, plus and minus, is to increase the value of these numbers to see the change while reading the value. Okay, you can scroll down on the description side and download the connection and the Arduino code and test it directly. And now let's see the Arduino code. Okay, and now we have the Arduino code. In the beginning, you should down, you should go and download the easy uh, easy connection library from the Google Drive or the GitHub, or go to Sketch, then include library, then manage library. Okay, then type here uh, easy connection library. Easy connection library. Okay, and select the latest version and download it. Okay, if you want to download the Arduino code, you can scroll down and download it from the description. You can read the explication of the code after downloading it and take your time to understand it. It is not difficult. But I will uh, specify some uh, parameters. Here you can change the delay timing or the timing you want to read. Baud rate, delay, this is the timer. Here for example if you want to read the n0 dot val, the variable n0 like here and zero now number zero you should put here and zero if you want to read n1 you should put here n1 and two and three also and you should use my next dot read number this uh, function uh, can uh, allow you to read the number you want then serial dot print line last number to print uh, the number on the serial monitor okay let me verify my code and up, uh, upload it on my Arduino choose Arduino port and upload it okay after that go to your next editor save your file then compile it to check if there an error or no errors okay zero error then upload your code there is two method to upload your code either from the upload the button here then select uh, the port you want and the moderate or you can use the memory card method I will show you it now how to upload it using the memory card method okay and now let me show you how to upload the code using the second method uh, all you need is a memory card memory card shield the next gen and the Arduino okay first of all you should put uh, this memory card shield inside your laptop like this here huh. okay after that go to your next editor uh, after uh, compiling your code press on file tft output file then browse it where you want for example let me put it inside the new folder okay new folder then press output after that go to your new folder new folder you can see a file dot tft file the name of your project then dot tft file right click on it then press copy 
go to use this PC or my computer go to go inside your SD card you should delete all the file inside it then past okay after that eject your SD card okay unplug your memory card and connect your Arduino to your PC this uh, the red line is the plus 5 VCC the black line is the ground then put your memory card here and connect your uh, connection to the Arduino wait for the uploading update successful after that unplug your power then reconnect it as you can see here the code has been update uploaded then connect the blue line to the rx on your arduino pin number zero and the second line the yellow line to the TX number one pin number one on your Arduino uh, disconnect your TX RX from your Arduino and upload your code if you want if you not upload it yet after uploading TX on the pin number 0 TX to RX on RX to R TX Ok, after that click on the serial monitor to see the results As you see here and 0 dot val I will let me increase the numbers and the numbers here you can see here and 3.val 12 58 uh, here 58 now I will remind you by the name of each number and 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 now also as you see n2.val equal 9 this is the n2.val here equal 9 it's okay this is the easiest way you can use to read a numbers if you like it please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel to see our new video thank you for your watching